Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're talking about the super group Black Country Communion on this episode. Uh, they was doing in rounds uh, this week, and Joe Bonamassi, the lead guitarist, uh, was asked about the fifth album of the band. And, uh, you know, he said it is, it, it has already been completed, Joe said. Uh, it is not done. I'm actually... After I see you today, I'm going to go back to Sunset Sound Studios in Hollywood and see Glenn, and I've got to sing a little bit on it and redo one guitar part for the record. And he's over there cutting vocals now, so we're 90% so done by, by the music's done. He continued, the thing about backcountry community, whether you like the way we sound or not, when we all get together, it has a very specific thing that it does. Everybody brings a specific thing to the table, and it's special. It's a special band. According to Joe, he brought the Black Country community members back together to make a follow-up to their uh, BCC4, which was uh, released in September 2017. Uh, Mark Black Country community's first studio effort since 2013's Afterglow. I was the one that kind of indicated the text, be like, hey, is there anybody interested in doing a fifth al fifth al album? He said, and Derek got back to me, Jason got back to me pretty quickly, and Glenn called me and said, I can't do anything until the dead Daisy situation goes one way or the next. And I said, fair enough. So when Glenn left the dead da Daisies last year, that was kind of the green light for us to get back together. So pretty cool news there. I always like Black Country Communion as a super group. You know, they came out about the same time as Chicken Foot there, and I like both bands. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure this will be a killer album and, and uh, be a killer tour. And that'll be this edition of Metalhead Nation Garage.